What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back with more Profit Orbs for our viewers, and this one was pretty good, as you will see. Now, about halfway through, it does sound like we're about to end the recording and the video, but stick around, we found out some sea land stuff that needed to be done for Mark as well, so let me know if you guys enjoy this, not only seeing Profit Orbs, but seeing Profit Orbs and then progress on that viewer's account, we might do that in the future as well, so definitely give me a heads up, hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so on Mark's account here, we have full four loops, I think what we're gonna hunt for is mainly an extra two Rogan copies, and maybe some Garudas along the way, there's not much needed. There's tons of food on this account in Puppet. So it's, we don't really need to orb for food right now to work on his next E5. Um, yeah, let's just jump into it. Let's go into force. So let's do 320. End at, what, 39? Yeah, good math, Barry. Let's do this. Let's get it going. Let's see what we can get. Let's put Mika Girl up on screen. Give her good luck to the stream. So let's go. Let's jump into it. Let's see something big right away. Come on. Come on, right away. Okay, not right away. Not not at all. <laughs> we got a Zekis right there, five star. Ooh, we already hit a Flora. That's not too bad. I know you have a few Flora copies. A few. Nah, no gambling on this one, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Quadruple five star pull. Nice. Uh, nothing there. Come on. Ooh, more. Wow. A lot of five stars coming here. It'd be nice to get a Rogan copy, though. Rogan, Garuda. Flora is nice, but not many people are building her right now. But it can still be good. Rar, what's up, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. Nothing there. Come on. Come on. Just, just, just ask for, like, one Rogan copy here. Okay, these pulls have been bad the last few. Okay. We redeemed ourselves with five stars. Three more five stars right there. But we need more. We need more. Oh, we got a Garuda copy. There we go. So we have a Flora and a Garuda. I would say Mika Girl is giving us some good luck. I would say so. Uh, a couple more five stars there. Maybe we're going to get the trifecta, the Holy Trinity. We're going to get all three of the big heroes, Garuda, Rogan, and Flora. Would be nice if we could get one Rogan. We got 100 summons to go. What is going to happen? We got a gray eyed right there. We got a Vesa and a Zekis. Hang on to that Vesa. Might be a transcendence hero in the future. Uh, I got a Kargath. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Six more to go. Nope. Come on. Give us one Rogan copy. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Kevin's in chat bringing the good luck with Mika Girl. A Rogan and a second Garuda copy. What? Kevin says, really liking the Mika cam you started doing. Yeah, she's the good luck charm right there. She definitely looks prettier than me, that's for sure. But look at that. So we have a Flora, two Garudas, and a Rogan. Plus, we have 30 more orbs to go. Let's see what we can get. Wow, that's a lot of five stars there. This might be the highest high roll account we have had all week. And the last one, a Valkyrie. I mean, at one point, that would be pretty amazing. <laughs> Mark gifting the sub as a thank you, right, man? <laughs> so that should be the full quad loop. You know what, Mark? You know what? I think what we're going to do, since we've high rolled this one so much, I think we're going to do the swaps too. So let's take a look. I think we need what? You said one more Rogan copy. So we'll go for one Rogan and then see where we're at. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. And then we have three, six. Seven, eight. You almost have enough for another E5 Garuda, too. Do you want me to go ahead and do your uh, your swaps in some forest? Get some Zekis going, maybe. I mean, this is uh, this is probably one of the highest high rolls we had. I think going for that last Rogan copy might be pretty good. I think it might be pretty good. <laughs> go ahead. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can keep the luck going. First orbs of the day here on Monday. Let's see. Come on. Come on. 62 swaps. We, we gotta, right? I mean, like, we gotta get one Rogan. Remember that video I did a while back? I think I had, like, over 120 swaps, and we only came away with, like, one Rogan copy and 120. That felt really, really bad. Oh, man. Come on. Give us something good. If we get, like, Vestas and stuff like that, even Roses, we're gonna hold on to them just in case they are the next 
uh, or one of the next Transcendence Heroes after Asmodel on February. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, we're already down like, what, 13-ish swaps or something? Gru? Nah, we don't need Gru. Edgar, oh, Mika switched position. She's like, nope, that position was not lucky. I need to switch it up. I need to look the other direction. And then now we're going to get a Rogan copy right here. How sick would that have been? <laughs> How sick would that have actually been? Ah, oh, come on. 44 swaps. We're still just getting garbage. Pure and other... Okay, enough of the faceless. This look is less lucky. Okay, okay, she's back. She's back to the other way. She's like, hold on. I made a mistake. I just want to hold me because she looks so fluffy. She's actually very short hair for a husky, but still extremely fluffy for a dog. Come on, we're almost halfway through and still not a single copy that we want to hold. What? Sure, you know what? It feels bad not to grab anything. We'll just grab the starlight. Someone calling 3400. So this one right here, they're calling is going to be a Rogan. Again, how sick would have that been? <laughs> if the guess would have actually been right. Come on, give us something. Oh, I hate swaps so bad. And this right here is exactly why I never do them on stream anymore. Because they just feel so bad. It takes the high roll from the profit orbs and just like punches you into the ground. Like, oh, you want copies? Tough. You don't get copies. You don't, nobody gets copies from switches. From swaps. None. Zero. Zip. Nil. Nothing. Oh, now it doesn't count because you guys are just putting like every hundred. <laughs> you guys are spamming in chat all these different numbers now that we're going to get a copy of bound to get one. Actually, probably not bound to get any of them. <sighs> It'll be on the very last swap, says Pelzato. I mean, maybe, maybe. I will grab the Rosa just in case. Security measure. Throwing that Zekis back in. You got a Sherlock and an Eno. From swaps, nice. You got four Rogan on a single account yesterday. Degens. <laughs> oh, come on. We're not getting a thing here. What are these swaps? Man, I need to cut the swaps into a separate video because these are horrible. Just be like, this is the reason why we need pity timers on branch swaps. 100%. We've just burned through all of these. Every single one of them. Okay, we got... Well, you know what? We grabbed a Starlight <laughs> and a Valkyrie just because we haven't gotten anything else worthwhile. Oh, no. Three swaps to go. No. Last two. Oh, this is not looking good. Zekis. <sighs> last one. Mika. <gasps> hey, Mika. Hey, Mika. Girl. Okay, now that's the good position right there. Oh, it was the good position. We got Olivia. I mean, it's not it's not great. It's definitely not great. Mark with another gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. I mean, it was a little lucky, but not really, because let's be honest, who's building Olivia right now unless you're early game? Olivia's good in early game. Beyond that, eh, not so much. But let's take a look. So, what do we manage to get? We managed to not really get anything from swaps whatsoever, but we managed to get, I believe it was a Valkyrie. We got one Flora, one Rogan, and two Garuda, with one of those pulls being like absolutely amazing, getting both the Garuda and the Rogan. So, what needs to be done on this account? That is a good chest. Honestly, Mark, uh, as a little bit of advice, ooh, this is a really good chest too. You got the luxury chest. So, 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 so. Honestly, your next build should probably be to finish that Rogan off. Um, after that, I mean, you do have some Inoskes now. You're going to have, what, five Inoskes from the total event? You got a Punisher Staff. I mean... Probably what you want to do is, first and foremost... Finish off that. Ro oh, wait. Were you considering those chests as Rogan copies? Ah, so we're one short. Because I don't see any Rogans here. And, of course, we just have that one Rogan here. Did you do Heroic Miracle already? Oh, all right. You already got that Rogan. So, yeah. I'm guessing you're counting both these chests as Rogan copies. So, we're technically one short. 
I don't know. I mean, there's Inosuke in both of these chests right here. That means you got a total of seven right now. Hmm. Got some... Some artifacts, not a ton. Okay, all right, all right. You already got the ticks. You're going to get a second Punisher staff. You're not at death 100, so of course the first thing you want to work on is going to be upgrading the Punisher staff, putting all of your void imprinting in ticks, and pushing into Aspen Dungeon to get death 100. You got to get this guy cleared out. Sadly, you already are in there before you had that upgraded Punisher staff, but hey, not too bad. But... But, 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 but what I would probably focus on then is either finish the Rogan off or use those chests for Rogan copy or uh, Inosuke copies. Get this penny to 10 star and then swap to Inosuke and get him leveled up because that will also help you get Celian 20 done in Fortress. So hopefully that helped you out. Overall, though, that was a pretty high roll. I really like this account. Like the, the heroes you got going are pretty good. Of course, you know, Aspen. Is Aspen. It is what it is, but hopefully, hopefully that helped you out, man. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know. So actually, we did notice on Mark's account here, Light Ceiling is not done with the double Russells. So what we need to do is we need to grind this out for him. <laughs> we can easily, easily get this done for him. Let's take a look. Let's um let's do a little split gear here, Mark. I'm gonna mess with your heroes a little bit. A little little bit let's get that going there let's get some six star gear going split here we will throw on like uh where's that punisher staff i know i saw punisher staff on here antlers cane maybe actually antlers cane might be better let's do that let's get this going for mark we can we can do a nice little bonus since he high rolled for us so high on those profit orbs all right, let's take a look. So let's swap this over. One thing with your Russells too, Mark, make sure you're always using light, lethal fight back, even in PvP. Um, it's an extra layer that it'll ping off on the on the active to get layers of shields off. Um, is definitely the best one. Don't run shelter on him. Definitely, definitely run that. Yan, Mika, Yan, Pog, yep. <laughs> All right, we won't really... Uh, oh, actually, we have Void Enables on one of them too. So this might be a very easy breezy run attack speed should be fine attack speed both of those are fine who else are we running i'm gonna need to steal some energy artifacts so make sure you throw them back on energy energy any more energy doesn't look like it okay so let's jump over here let's get to these michelles let's just actually just give them any old gear it don't matter got one a two a three Okay, so we one, two, three, four, five. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Light ceiling is my specialty. It kind of is. It kind of is. Uh, oh, you even have some holy kids leveled up too. So we'll just use one of the holy kids. Granted, uh, probably going to die, and I don't see any more energy. Ooh, no more energy. Let me, make, let me just make sure I didn't miss, like, energy on some hero, like a... a death sworn or something no other energy right oh wait no those those yep yep <laughs> those are my michelles okay so we don't quite have enough energy but it should still be fine to jump in here and honestly one tap a lot of these waves seeing that we have multiples of them so we're gonna throw them in and then we're gonna throw that little holy kid in the back and we're gonna wrap it up with two of you with the phoenix pet two russells should make this really easy Honestly, one Russell should be enough, but two is going to make it so if we do have some bad RNG with stuns or hits with energy drains, at least one of them is going to get in the air and the other one is going to be able to ping away. So overall, this should not be too bad. Let's get a big old Russell active here. Boom. At least the early levels are going to be pretty simple. Should be pretty simple. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't good, actually. <laughs> Getting in the air is not exactly the best thing. You almost just want pings right here. Not bad. All right, so 17 done. Let's go to 18. Ooh, decent stuns. We got two. Nobody. Oh, they drained energy on both. I don't know if we can do it with energy drained on both of them. That could be a little hard to do. 
Especially, oh, oh, this might be dangerous. Oh, we lost shields on that one, but th this one's the... Uh, don't die, don't die. Oh, get the active off. Uh-oh, I don't know if he can do it. It's not an active coming in, so he might not die. Yeah, he did die. So yeah, that is worst case scenario. Essentially having both of our Russells getting energy drained. What we should, pro if we had more energy artifacts, what we would probably do is run energy on both of them. Like literally just have all six heroes with energy artifacts. And then round two would just be like complete destruction. Whoo, okay. Not that great, not that great. Mika's gone. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll close the cam off. I, I'm pretty sure she's coming back right now. She's coming back. She's a fidgety girl. Honestly, though, we'll leave it off for the rest of this. I said off. Just so we can get this going. We got two stuns. As long as he doesn't die, we should be good. Is he running A and B on raw? I mean, could be. We'll take a look at it. Got in the air in the second one. Should be a victory this time. Shouldn't be. Okay. That was a big old hit. I mean, we're going to take out the little minions. We still have unbending left. Probably kill him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? What is the RNG on this account? This is so bad. What's outside the window that hypnotizes Mika so much? Just trees moving around and stuff. Nothing special. All right. Come on now. Let's get a big old active. Why is everybody picking on that one Russell here? Do not die, man. <laughs> that would feel so bad. All right, so 18 done. It's going to take a little RNG, but why are trees moving around? Well, I mean, it's windy out, man. Nice and cool out in Florida today. It's like in the 40s, Fahrenheit. Oh, this is not good. I think this is a big old death. I think this one is a big old death, if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, you're not living. <laughs> There's no way that's happening. All right, let's go. The trees have legs. They're mobilizing. Only one stun. That's not good. But at least it was a priest. That means guaranteed one of them gets in the air. It's when you don't stun either priest that it's pretty much a wipe. Just wiping it up. Just skip the battle. <laughs> How about an MSS on one Russell for more damage? This should be fine. I think. I think we're going to have the pings to do this. I think the next round. Oh, wow. Okay, that one hit really hard there. I thought he still had unbending. I guess not. And don't ask questions. Trees walk around in Florida like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, we got tree ants everywhere here, guys. You didn't know that? <laughs> All right, this one's feeling good, I think. We still got a couple Michelles in the front to tank some hits for us. So, yeah, that's, that's a good GG right there. Honestly, those pings are probably enough. All right, and the last one, 420, 420, no, 4, Sealion, 20, there we go. Uh, we only got one stun, but it was a priest, which is good luck. Oh my god, the priest literally hit both Russells. How is that legal? All right, yeah, no, we're not watching that one. That one's a defeat. We have one more attempt. Let's see if we can just get it done right now. Maybe we can. We didn't get a single stun, so... um. That's a no. We're going to buy one more attempt. See what we can do. Mark with another gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. You guys are getting the subs from him. Make sure you say thank you. Wow, we didn't hit a stun again. I mean, we have a chance because we are in the air at least. But honestly, I think we just die this round. Yeah, I figure we just die. Okay, one more. Just one more. We can get 20 done for him. We can definitely get 20 done. I know we can. Okay, we got one priest and a warrior. Oh, that was perfect. We get both of them in the air, still with two stuns. We got plenty of fodder. We even have a holy kid stun chance. Oh, and we hit it. <laughs> Come on, big active. Here we go. Seal and 20. Done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 
I think. Oh my god. Is he not gonna die here? <gasps> don't kill me. Don't kill me, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> that Oh my goodness, that kind of scared me for a second there. So, there we go. Sea Land 20 done on light as well for Marks. And not only did we have God tier orbs, but we got him Sea Land 20 done in light. So, I mean, you could smash it anyway. Mark, thank you, man. Yet another gifted sub. Hopefully, that helps you out on the account, man. And I'll see you guys later.